is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are going to be making probably one of the craziest purchases that we've done on this channel this is about to be insane if you guys didn't know maybe a couple months ago i did a few videos where i played on a sneaker key match now if you don't know what that is it's basically a game that's in sneaker stores that has a bunch of sneakers up lined up and you play the game to try to win the sneaker and it's five bucks a play well i spent a lot of money doing that and uh, one of the local stores here is moving they're downsizing they need to get rid of one and they offered me to buy it now i've been going back and forth in the last couple of days like do i why do i need to buy one of these this is an expensive machine what am i going to do with it where am i going to put it i figured out where i can put it put it right here this might be ha it might not happen honestly we'll see but i want to show you guys if this game is a scam how it works by having it in my own place. Now, I'm not gonna be using this to make money. I'm gonna actually be using this for better. I'm gonna start doing something where I maybe have free key masters, where I do like a pop-up with the key master with a bunch of sneakers and it's free to play. So you guys can win free sneakers. I'm trying to do better, do stuff like that. So we'll see that in the future. Now, this video is sponsored by privacy.com, which I'll talk about a little bit at the end of the video, but basically they create secure online virtual cards for all your purchases. Now we're gonna talk about again at the end of the video, but uh, thanks for privacy for making this possible. Now we might be paying cash for this. We're still deciding on a deal and whatnot. I'm gonna try to be transparent as I can about that. Now we gotta go ahead. We can't take my car. We have to go rent a van to go get this machine. This machine's like this tall, this wide, this wide. Let's go ahead, head to Home Depot, pick up a little truck, go make this work. We might actually go to the store first. We might go to the store first and then look at it, check it out, make sure it's all good. And then we'll go ahead, come back and I don't know what we're going to do with it. It's going to be a big machine in here, but we'll see. If you guys aren't aware, we have two giveaways going on right now. We're giving away back-to-school sneakers as well as we have a $270 mystery box giveaway. Both of those videos will be up on the screen, and we'll be linking them down below. If you guys didn't see those, you want a free mystery box or a free pair of sneakers. So we haven't decided if we're going to be doing cash straight up or a trade yet. So I've got a few sneakers here that we might do a trade with. Now I'm excited because I'm going to have a few friends come over and play this key master in this video too. So I think that'll be fun to go ahead and have some people try to play. I don't know why I put in there. I'll put like 20 bucks, 30 bucks at first, make it easy because it's a free play. And then maybe in the future, I'll put some like super crazy sneakers and stuff in there. All right, so we can't take my car today because we're gonna have to leave the car in the parking lot whenever we get the truck. But Nick's letting me drive his car today, which is a Mustang, but it's a manual. So uh, I feel a bit of a switch up for me, but I used to drive manual, my Mustang was too. So let's go ahead and uh, hop in the Stang America Mobile. Let's do it. All right, so we're in the Rustang now. Nick's car is just absurdly loud. He was mad that I said a Rustang. The Rustang. <laughs> the Rustang. This is too loud. Like, I like loud cars, but this is just, listen to this. All right, so there's a cop back there. Nick's car is legal-ish. Legal-ish Ish. to hit the noise levels, but we're headed there now. This is uh, interesting driving this car because one, I'm not realizing how low my R8 sits. Two, I have the worst blind spot in the world in that car. I cannot see anything back in this corner. And here I have a nice view. So headed there, we got about 19 minutes and uh, shouldn't take too long. This, or this suspension is so bouncy. This car is too loud, but since we're in it, we're just gonna send it under a tunnel just to let you guys hear it. Oh my god. It feels kind of slow, honestly. Oh, thanks. I'm, but I'm used to the power of the R8. It's like a lot more, but loud, boys. just here the other day so we're not going to film entirely too much here because we were just here but we're about to go in check it out make sure it all works whatnot and go from there oh. yeah so here is the machine right here now this is bigger than i expected this is going to be nice and fun to load up but look how big that is calibrating right now and uh this is this is pretty crazy this thing is huge it, i did not think it's gonna be as tall as me so that's about six foot two right there six foot three it's probably uh, he told me the dimensions i don't know why i didn't think about that and i'm also wondering like if this button on here could be custom like that kind of stuff because this would be crazy with like a wrap on it maybe all right so we're all good we are now heading to go get the truck we have to go to home depot hopefully this loading process isn't crazy this is gonna be so funny. We have to get this into my elevator at my apartment and roll it up. If anybody gets an elevator, it's gonna be wild, but this is gonna be one crazy thing to have 
in my apartment and uh, I'll tell you guys about like how much we paid and all that stuff later, kind of where it's at, the, how much they're worth and what the plan is for everything. So right now, I'm gonna go over to Home Depot and grab this thing. So they didn't have the proper van at this Home Depot, even though online it said they did. So I called to this one. They said they have one available, even though it says two online, but I have to make sure that they have it. It might get scooped up. Hopefully they do, because we're another 15 minutes out. It's 20 bucks for the first 75 minutes. So we're trying to get it done within that so we can save some cash because we just bought a key master machine. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get there and we'll get it all wrapped up. All right guys, we got the truck. We're in the van now. We're going back to Hype and we got to knock this out in 75 minutes or the charge goes up five bucks every 15 minutes. So we're headed back to Hype. We're gonna knock this out. So the goal is to like lay it down on his back. We're gonna lift at the bottom, but there's a metal piece right here, which will scratch the whole backside. So we need to do that. And we're just gonna slide it in. Probably should have thought a little bit better about it, but this is what we got to work with. We're gonna lift up the bottom, tilt it, and then push it in. So let's hope it works. Shout out to Hype for helping us load that up because that was not easy. It's gonna be fun unloading that when we get back, but now we have to head back home. My phone's about to die, so that's great, and uh, unload this sucker. All right, so we got it back. We are about 10 minutes away from home. It was a little bit complicated to get in there if you guys didn't see that. A little sketchy, but thanks for Khan for helping us out. Now we have a buddy, Blake, who's gonna be meeting us back there. He's gonna be trying the machine later too. He's gonna try to help us unload it because this is gonna be tough. That was pretty hard getting it. It'll be easier getting it out. I just don't want it to like when we lift it up, it just like and slide out and just be gone because it's a heavy machine. So hopefully we can get some help. And I told him we'll be back in 10 minutes and then we'll get it loaded up. But then we have to, right when we get it up there, we have to take the van back all the way to where we were. We can't drop it off at another Home Depot, which is an L because it's traffic, it's four o'clock right now. But gotta do it because every 15 minutes is another five bucks added. So. We will see you guys, we'll put it back in and uh, get it all set up and figure out what we're gonna do and what we're gonna show you guys. Made it in the elevator. I don't think this elevator has ever seen one of these or a Supreme bike like we brought before. All right, made it into the next part, which is the parking deck that we have to go around and then go up again. Why, what are we doing? This is ridiculous. Hopefully it fits through this door. So it didn't fit in the one level's door, but I think we should be able to get it into four. And once we get into four, we should be able to go straight up to the rest. So hopefully this works. This is a mess. Guys, we made it on our floor successfully. Nobody's here. All right, I'm gonna go get our front door. Hopefully, hopefully this fits through our door because that could be another problem. Hopefully this fits through our door too. But that front piece can come off.
Let's go. Let's go. Guys, is this the first ever Keymaster in an apartment? I don't know. Shout out Blake for helping us out. But Blake actually lives in my building and he watched my videos and we found out we've been hanging out for a couple months now. Look what's on his feet. This is a daily. Mars Yard. He paid a lot less than resale now and he's lucky because that's worth like four times now what you paid, five yeah, times? I paid Crazy. Look at this guys, this is absolutely nuts. We had to take this device off to put this on. I want to see if this is customizable, but now we're going to put it up on this wall over here. Yeah, that's going to have to come off. We're going to try to put it right there. That's I like the glove. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? This is, I don't even know what is happening right now, but we have a key master in the apartment. Wow, that's nuts. It's kind of tight here, but it's a key master. We didn't even have it plugged in. Well, I guess it's time. We've got to put this back on right here, and then we'll get ready to load it up and figure out how it all works. So give us a little bit. Actually, we have to leave and take that truck back. They're going to tow it probably. And uh, we'll check back in. We'll probably check back in once we return the truck and everything. Probably leave the camera and uh, get that done. So. Now that it's all set up, I wanna go ahead and get some stuff to put in there that people can actually win. So I'm gonna go get some gift cards, some candy bars, I'm gonna put some shoes in there and things that people can actually win if they come in and play. Instead of just having my stuff that they don't get to keep, I think this would be fun. So let's go ahead and head to Target and see what we can get. All right, so we got the goods. Let's go ahead and head back to the studio. Okay, so I got a couple things to go ahead and put in there. First thing we're gonna be doing is these Supreme Hot Wheels. These are all items that people will get to keep if they win them. Starbucks gift card, $25 Chipotle gift card. I wanna win this myself. We got some Pokemon card. We got some candy bars. We can put some candy in there. I don't know how this is gonna, I gotta figure out the logistics. So like, I don't want people to like, I don't like Nick, cause he lives in this apartment to go ahead and just play it and take the candy that's in there. So I need to figure out rules for it. But now I'm gonna show you guys, I've kind of started to figure out how this works. Now, when I open this up, obviously I get to add all the items on the bottom is where everything is controlled and this machine right here basically controls everything so look i'm gonna turn it on and some of the stuff that i'm learning is there's all these different modes and when you click through it you get to see how the threshold is so there's one actually this one right here where to go this lets me control how much i can charge for the specific play i have it set on the lowest which is one so i haven't figured out how to do free plays yet so i'm basically just kind of recycling money whereas when people put it in i'll bring the money back out i'll actually just have money here for people to use the next mode that one says like 20 to 60 i'm not sure what that means means maybe it's the time then there's the next one i'm not sure what that is and then i think the seven this is where okay yes here we go so how this works is each section has its own like name so this one is called like 1a 1b and so i can come on here and i can go between up and down i can do one or I can go all the way up to 5,000. So that's how many plays it takes in order for that one to be ready to win. And what it means to be ready to win is it gets a little bit easier and more precise when it reaches that threshold. It's not just gonna go in easily, but you still have to get it perfectly, but that means that it's gonna let you do it easier. So I can control each one at that certain amount. But I think what will be fun is putting these items in, I actually make the threshold like five or 10. Obviously, I want people to win. It's gonna be the money that I'm putting in there, but I don't want it to be like every single person can win every time they try. I want it to like people still to have to play, figure it out, and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna set each one to five. So I go right here and I just go up, and you can see I go all the way down to 5,000, but I'm gonna go up to about five on each. I press enter, and then it goes to the next one. So I'm gonna go up to five, one, two, four, five, enter, go up to five enter up to five so that is how the threshold works so you can basically set the amount to you can have each play be five bucks and then you can have it play five thousand times you have a twenty five thousand dollar sneaker in here you can make it be easier to play once it reaches twenty five thousand so that's like one of the tricks how it works now obviously this is an arcade game this is a game it's not meant for everybody to win it's meant for the people of the machine to make money and it's meant for people playing to have a chance to win, but you don't know if you have that chance. Well, now I have the ability to control that and I'm letting you guys know how it works. Now they're all set and they're all good to go. As I'm doing this, the question is, is this game a scam? I'm gonna tell you guys after I load this up and have some friends play it, the real secret, the real, like, is this a scam? Do I think it's a scam now that I own one? I'll tell you guys after a few of my friends play it, let them get a chance to win.
If you're unfamiliar with how it works, basically when this key down here, you have to aim it to go into this little hole right here. Now it is big enough for us, some people think it's not. Once it goes in, it spins down, pulls out, and then the item falls down just like that. Next up for the prizes is going to be candy. Now I went ahead and taped these up and we have these little clips that hopefully will work when we put these up. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this up here. This should work, all right. And yes, there we go, perfect. So the current prize pool, as we have now, for friends who come over today and I'm gonna have play this machine. A row of candy bars, we have a row with the OBJ Air Max 720s, we have the Supreme Hot Wheel, we have the Yeezy Butters, we have a Starbucks gift card, 15 bucks. We have a Pokemon deck, which is an older one, which might have some lit stuff in it. Then we have a Chipotle gift card for 25 bucks. That's some actual reasonable stuff. And maybe if I play and I win, I might take something like a Chipotle gift card because I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure there's no money in here. I have some ones down in my apartment that we will use and we're gonna lock this up so nobody can get in here and mess with it. And it's gonna be time to play. Now this says five bucks to play. Nope, we're taking it off. We don't charge here at the Harrison Neville Arcade. It's free to play. All right, guys, so next up is going to be Blake. Now, if you guys don't know Blake, you saw him yesterday. Hey, how's it going? It's actually the next day. I'm in the same shirt, Blake's not, but if you guys wanna go ahead, check out Blake's channel. I'll be linking it down below. You're doing a giveaway soon, right? Yes, once I pass 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing my first sneaker giveaway. 1,000 subscribers, that is a lot better odds than my videos, because there's like a couple hundred thousand people entering. That's 1,000 people, good odds. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link that down below. It is his turn to go ahead and uh, see what we can win out of the Key Master. You can keep whatever you win. So you have to go for, I say go for the Pokemon cards, but that's me. <laughs> what are you gonna go for? If there is a Charizard in there, then I am definitely going for the Pokemon cards. Seven tries is what they get in order to do it and uh, you can pick whatever they want. So if you want tips, maybe I won't give them to you until after a few, but we'll see. So here goes Blake. Have you ever played this before? A couple times in New York, but maybe a total of like five times. Ooh. <sighs> Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Four more tries. How you feeling about the machine? It feels good. It doesn't make you feel like you're, like it's, I can see the ones where it like jerks up. This one doesn't really do it. Yeah. There it is. Five tries in, dang. That's actually good, the first winner out of the Key Master. Ooh. So the threshold is actually set to five, so he won it before the threshold was fully done. So Sweet. that's that's a good move right there. Nick's Thank turn now. So Nick's turn now, but whatever he get, gets out of there, he has to pay me for. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so Nick's up. Blake won Supreme Hot Wheel, congratulations. And uh, Nick's up. You wanna put your Supreme Hot Wheel in there now? Nick's been practicing. I ran into a couple. <laughs> 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 Did <you? laughs> I didn't even let go. It just Dang. ran out. Oh. You gotta be more precise up there. Oh! Let's there it go. is. Dang. Let's go. Starbucks gift card gone too. That was second try. Wow. We got some winners. Tony Digital with another visual is here and he is going to be attempting the key match. Now he's kind of familiar. He played on my video for a good bit, but we'll see if uh, he can get in there and win. I want that Chipotle burrito. You want the Chipotle? So that's yeah. what you can go for? You get five tries. Five tries? Am I the first YouTuber? You're the first You're the first one to start playing it besides we were messing around last night. Damn. Come on, man. You got this thing rigged, Harris. What you doing, man? I got it rigged to win. You got it rigged. Up, up, yeet. <laughs> Bro. Bro. One more try. <laughs> Tony was unsuccessful. Now, watch, Nick, get me. Watch me. I'm a, first try. I'm going to win this right here. Let's go. Oh, oh <laughs> Told you. Man, Tony's got one more try. What are you going for? One more. One more try. I'm going for that Chipotle, man. Chipotle? I just want it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. One more, one more, man. Get out of here. It's rigged, dog. It's rigged.
As far as the cost goes for the machine right here, I want to let you guys know about that. So they typically go for about $3,000 to $3,500 online on eBay. That's just kind of what people sell them at. At a used price, you obviously have to pay for shipping and it's pretty expensive with that. I ended up trading a pair of shoes and it basically ended up being like a cash because of like the price that they already gave me or what I would have sold those shoes for to put towards this. And that is $2,500. So there's still, if I really wanted to, I could sell this and make money. It'll be a little bit hard, but my intention with this is not to make money on it. I'm, that's my cost for the video, but hopefully I'll make enough videos out of it to where it kind of pays off. I think this will pay off as well and there's a sponsor of the video to make it pay off so it is a bit of a risk for me because i'm not gonna be putting it in the mall making money but i get to make content out of it and that's where i make my money now that you guys have seen everything and i've gone through that some friends playing everything like that here's the question is it a scam now obviously i want to do some more videos with this and i've got some big plans I want to do something where I take this machine, maybe put it in a parking lot of a sneaker store and have free plays for anybody that comes so you can win a sneaker in there. I think that that would be really cool. But is it a scam? No, I don't think it's a scam. I think the intentions of the game is an arcade machine. You're not supposed to win every time. There's a purpose behind it. It's a risk game where you put in money. There's a chance you can win. You don't know what machine is ready to pay out, but your odds are better when you go to somewhere that has a lot of foot traffic rather than going somewhere where there's not a lot of people playing it because there's not that many plays on it but i don't think it's a scam i've played the game i put money into it i know what i'm getting into when i go into it i say if you're gonna do it set a certain amount that you're willing to lose for it and then stop there if you're willing to lose 10 bucks stop at 10 bucks don't keep going till 100 because you might not get there you don't know what the threshold's at let me know some ideas down below that you guys think would be really good to use for this machine and what i could do within the studio with families friends all kinds of stuff like that as well as we're gonna go ahead and head over to sponsor this video privacy for making this happen so let's go ahead and check that out Privacy.com is a website that basically generates a virtual card for every purchase that you make. You're able to create a brand new card every single time. So let's say you're starting a new free trial on a website. You want to do only one month on a website. You want to make sure you only spend $100 on a website. You can go ahead and set a limit on that specific card and it'll only be charged that. And then once you use it, it's done and you can create a new one for the next purchase you make. So when making a card, you can set a spending limit. So for example, right here on this card, I can go ahead and set a $100 spending limit. I can do it per month, single charge. I can do per year. Then all I have to do is add a nickname to the card. I'm just going to make it one time $100. And then I go ahead and it generates a card and I can use it one time for that $100. And then that card's done. Now, if you didn't see like last video, I'm going to this website called Club Paradise. It's a website where I buy some of my clothes from. I'm going to go ahead, buy a shirt off of Club Paradise, add it to the card, load up this card, and it's going to let me make that one purchase. I'll have a little bit of money left over because this shirt's only 58 bucks. But look, order's being processed. Bam, there's the order. And there you go. Now, Privacy is giving you guys $5 for free to go towards any purchase that you want. All you have to do is go to Privacy dot com slash Harrison or click the link in the description down below and you can get five bucks for free for anything. So if you use that towards your first purchase, go ahead and use the link down below. Use privacy, make your purchase secure so you're not getting overcharged on your cards. And thank you to privacy for sponsoring this video. That's going to wrap it up for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.